Hi, my beautiful Pisces. Just got my hair cut. All right. Hi, my beautiful Pisces. Go ahead and hit that like button. I'm going to use the Romance Angels cards to do you guys a little quick reading here. I'm going to let you know how this person is feeling about you. All right. So go ahead and put this person on your mind. I will be using the Romance Angels cards. Whoever this person is, put them on your mind, Pisces. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to do two pals. I'm going to do two pals. Two Romance Angel cards. So let's do it like this. We got two pals. We got the small Romance Angels deck and we have the big Romance Angels deck. Don't forget to hit that motherfucking like button. What's up to my new subscribers, old subscribers? Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. All right? If you chose the first pal, just ruminate, just kind of like ruminate on both of them. If you need to pause, pause and look at these two options. Okay, so the first pile is going to be the small Romance Angel deck, and the second pile is going to be um, the big the big Romance Angels deck. Hey, Doreen Virtue, look, Romance Angels deck. Now, I'm about to jump straight into pile one. Whoever you chose for pile one, let me let you know how this person is feeling about you. Okay. You want to know how this person is feeling about you, Pisces. Let me let you know, pal one, how this person is feeling about you right now. There's two people you can choose, pal one and then pal two, okay? So let's see. For the first person, let me tell you how this person is feeling about you right now. This is a timeless reading. This is a timeless reading. How is this person feeling about Pisces right now? Let me tell you really quickly, pal one. Okay, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, this person is at a place right now where they're feeling a little impatient. This person is kind of like, um, they're not, they're like, they're done waiting for you or they're feeling impatient about waiting for something here with you. Um, so this is someone who's like right now, I do feel like this person feels like this is someone that's keeping their option open. This is someone that's keeping their option open right now and they're feeling a little impatient with waiting for you. This person may feel like you're not taking them seriously. Yeah, because this man in the car, this person is feeling like you're not taking them seriously. <laughs> yeah, because the girls are laughing, but the, 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 the feminine energy is laughing, but the masculine energy looks like they're not playing. <laughs> So I kind of feel like this person feels like you're not taking them seriously and they're feeling a little impatient here with you. Yeah. I don't know. This person feels like they need to keep their option open. They may feel like you're keeping your option open. Codependency just flew out. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so yeah, this is so sad. This person feels like you're keeping your options open. This person feels like you may be, um, yeah. And so they're trying to do the same thing, but this person feels um, obsessed. They're obsessed with you. They're just obsessed. They're obs <laughs> I'm hearing they're bored with their other options. This person is very bored with their other options. The other options are not able to keep their attention like you. So they're very bored. Yeah, they're very bored with other options or other people. Um, they're just trying to keep, but they're trying to keep an open mind here. They're trying to keep, they're just trying to it, keep their options open because they feel like you're keeping your options open. And re in reality, they're obsessed over you. They're like obsessed. <laughs> This person is obsessed over you. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Tell me more. How is this person feeling about you? Yes, let go of control issues. Ooh, you and this person may have a bit of like, you and this person may like be like, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm seeing the game of tug of war. I feel like you and this person may really kind of like butt heads. Maybe you and this person is very stubborn. Like, yeah, even in this wedding card, I'm getting two stubborn ass people. Look at them. 
I mean, you could be married to this person. This could be someone that wants to marry you. This could be someone that wants to like lock you down is what I'm hearing. Somebody wants to lock you down. This person wants to lock you down. Like, honestly, this person doesn't want This person doesn't, um, they don't have anybody else in mind. Like when it comes to you, they don't have anybody else in mind. Like, I don't know. They feel like this is somebody once they have their eyes set on something, like that's what they want. <laughs> like, you know, this person has their eyes set on you and they're kind of saying like, they know that you're the person that they want. This person feels a little possessive over you. For some of you guys, you need to know that this person is feeling very possessive over you. This person feels quite possessive over you. They're obsessed over you. They're possessed. They're pos like they're feeling possessed. Like they're they're I don't know. They feel possessive over you. Like um, they don't want to let you go. Yeah, this is somebody that doesn't want to let you go. Or they have a hard time letting you go. I feel like I'm also hearing that this person doesn't want to see you end up with anybody else. This person doesn't want to see you with someone else. Yeah, they don't want to see you with someone else. Like, this is somebody that's having a hard time letting you go. They're having a hard time letting you go. Um, Be careful. I just heard that this is somebody that would definitely, if you're pos if you're able to get pregnant, this is someone that would definitely trap you. So just know that this is someone that would that's definitely open to putting a baby in you or, or like maybe this is a male. They're definitely open to, um, you know, doing that or if this is a woman this person is definitely okay if you're my pisces male this person is pisces male this person is definitely um willing and ready to trap you so be careful of that like babies okay children they don't want nobody else to have you what the hell this is toxic you guys i feel like <laughs> i feel like the situation this person i mean this situation is so toxic it's like this, this. You guys are very toxic for one another. It's so toxic. <laughs> yes, let your friends help you. Ask for so, Oh no, oh no, honey. Getting to know each other as you reveal your animal selves. Let me tell you something right now. Oh wow, this person friend maybe like if this is like something with social media like. Someone may be asking this person about you, inquiring uh, about you, like, hey, you talk to that, you talk to that person, do you talk to that person, Pisces? Like, like Pisces, this person is asking this other person, like, do they talk to you or you guys, do y'all know each other? So this person is very possessive over you. This person doesn't want their friends to talk to you. This person doesn't want their friends to get close to you. Like, this person only wants you to themselves. I think they're like this person's friends or family or people around them are asking about you. <laughs> yeah, getting to know each other. Someone wants to know something about you. They may want to know like, you know, is that person single? Are you dating that person? What's going on? Hmm. This person doesn't want to be your friend is what I'm hearing. Oh, no. This person doesn't want to be your friend. I'm hearing, I don't want to be your friend. This person doesn't want to be your friend. They don't want to be recognized as your friend. Yeah, we have getting to know each other. Over our energy, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. This person feels very strongly about you. Um, yeah, um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign. This person is still interested in getting to know you. They still, this person only wants to get, be close with you. They want to bond with you. They want your bond to grow deeper. This person still wants to bond with you, but this feels like a, hmm. Like I was saying, Pisces, before I was rudely interrupted by children running in the house, uh, Pisces, this person does not want anyone else to find form some type of bond with you. I do feel like this person, um, there's something about ego and control. 
it's so weird. I feel like this person may be letting their ego get the best of them right now because this person doesn't want to see you end up with someone someone else or they don't want to see you end up forming a bond with someone else. Like this person doesn't want you dating anyone else. This person doesn't want you getting close to anybody else, you know, seeing anybody else but them. So at this point, it's really like a matter of control, you know? So I feel like what's really making this person want to like what's making it this person want to hold on to you and making it so hard for them to let go has a lot to do centered around control issues, you know, wanting to have that power, wanting to have that control. And I feel like that's, um, I mean, that's unhealthy. That's very toxic. I do see that. So I, <laughs> it's like, you guys have a very, like, um, it seems very karmic, like, you know, very codependent relationship. It seems very karmic. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This does seem, seem like a karmic relationship here. It uh, could be a soulmate karmic relationship, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. So this is how this person feels about you. This person is still wanting to get to know you. They're still wanting to form a bond with you. This person is still wanting to go deeper here or dive deeper into this connection here with you. And that's what I'm seeing. Okay. I mean, this person does have emotions and feelings for you, but it is centered around, I mean, it's centered around some type of, it's almost like, I want to say egomaniac, but it's like possessive, ego and the possession, like some type of possession. This person feels very possessive of you guys, okay, for sure. So this is what I'm getting with POW 1, okay? We're going to move on to POW 2. Pow two. How is this person feeling about you right now, Pow two? Pow two. How is this person feeling about you right now? This is a quick reading, and this is timeless. Pow two. Go ahead and hit that like button. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Third parties, cross watchers. What's up? How is Pow two feeling about Pisces right now? How is Pow two feeling about you right now? Whoever this person may be, how are they feeling about you right now? Um, I feel like this person is wanting to, I feel like this is somebody who wants to open up and have a heart to heart conversation, maybe communicate, talk to you. Um, but I do feel like they may, um, that they may find that very hard to do. Like this person may have a hard time expressing their emotions and feelings. Okay. Let's see. How is this person feeling about? My Pisces, Pal 2, how is Pal 2 feeling about Pisces? Let's see here. Wow, codependency, Lord. Okay, codependency, yet again. Okay, this person, free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, this person is obsessed, okay? They're obsessing over you, Pisces. Like, I feel like, did you come here and ask about the same person? If not... These people are very obsessive, like they're obsessing over you. Um, this person feels like they can't get you out of their system. They can't get you out of their mind. They can't get you out of their head. Um, they yearn for you. They desire you. They lust for you. Like, it's crazy. Like this person is thinking that you are taking control over their life. You are literally, um, like I, I'm getting this energy, like, okay, when this person may be, working, when they're showering, when they wake up first thing in the morning, when they go to sleep first thing at night, you're the last person they think about. You're the first thing that they think about when they wake up. <laughs> okay. I don't care if this person is, and not all of you guys are dealing with married people or people that are already in a connection with someone else. But for some of you guys, I'm getting with this codependency. Maybe this person is already in some type of connection. Maybe they're wanting to free themselves from, and they see you as their, like, this is weird. I don't know. It's like, You are that for them. Like you are their way to kind of like escape. Like this person may want, this person may have, there's something about escapism. This person wants to escape their life or their situations. Um, they may do that through fantasizing about you is what I'm hearing. So yeah, there's something about escapism here. Okay. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Hold on. Okay. 
maybe their boring day-to-day -day life or routine. Either way, yeah, this person feels like maybe their life is so boring or it's like they're trying to escape through you. This person is like they have obsessive thoughts about you, dreams about you. Um, they obsess over you. Fantasize over you. How is this person feeling about Pal 2? Um, my Pisces, how is Pal 2 feeling about you? Yeah, like I said, chemistry. I'm telling you right now, baby. This thing is very intense. It's very strong. Okay, this person is so drawn to you like i'm telling you if this is someone that's already connected or in a if this is a third party situation like this person is very maybe bored with their life and there's something about them wanting to escape through you if some of you guys they, there's not like say if they are dealing with someone else and maybe it's not a marriage or a commitment like this person may be realizing that the connection that they have with you is way stronger than they have with someone else um i'm also getting that for some of you guys where there's not a third party with this codependency here, I do feel like this person is like, yo, this person feels like you have them in a chokehold. This person feels like you have them in a fucking chokehold. Like, I'm hearing like, what the hell are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? This person is strongly drawn to you there is they're saying that this connection like there's a strong magnetic attraction to you like i'm telling you like the chemistry is so strong i feel like this person is yearning for you so i'm getting a lot of sexual chemistry here i'm getting a lot of passion here that this person is feeling for you this person is yearning for you how is this person feeling about you pisces this could be the one right True love, this is a romance of a lifetime. Um, this person, I'm hearing this person saying, I just want you and only you. This person really feels like, okay, if this person is with someone else, they feel like you're the one, okay? If, them, if, if this person may be like in a marriage or a commitment, they feel like they're with the wrong person. You know, they feel like you are the one this could be the one. They feel like you're the one that they're supposed to be with. Um, you're perfect for them. You complete them. They feel This person feels like you complete their life or you're the one that they're supposed to be with. There's an energy of you're the one that may have gotten away with how this person is. Um, there's something about you. This person is so drawn to you. Like, it, you, you're, I'm hearing you're unforgettable or it's not... Um, is you're not someone who's easily to forget. Like, it's not easy to just forget about you. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing wherever you go, I'll follow you. I feel like this person wants to be where you are right now. They want to be up under you, especially with this chemistry card. This person definitely wants to be up under you. They want to be next to you. They want to be close to you. My gosh, this body. This I'm sorry. I heard. I just said this body. So maybe this person body craves you. Something on their body, like they crave your body parts, or they crave you. This person craves some type of touch, just just to be up under you, just to be close to you, just to be next to you. This is intense, you guys. Yeah, because with, this could be the one we have. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Um, so, yeah, this person kind of feels like <laughs> I'm hearing you're the one. You are the one. You're the person that they want to be, that they want to cuddle up with. You're the person that they want to be close to. You're the person that they want to, um, you want, like, when they first wake up, they want to, you're the person that they want to wake up to. You're the person that they want to see. You know, you're the person that they want to go to sleep to. How is this person feeling about you? I don't know. I keep hearing the one that got away. Let's see. How is this person feeling about you? Oh my gosh. What is going on? This came out. <laughs> um, These two cards came out in the last pile. Like you're dealing with people that um, they have like control issues. Okay. They may really struggle with control issues or, Maybe they can they they struggle with you know control issues could also be a lack of assertiveness in their life. I do feel like maybe this person is not assertive. 
uh, what, what it is that they want. Um, I do feel like this person, hmm, this person feels like there's some type of barrier here when it comes to wanting these things with you. What is this? There's some type of issue. Something, they feel like something is in the way or. Let me see, because we have past life relationship. You have known each other. For some of you guys, this is a past connection. You've you've already known this person before because you've already met this romantic. Okay, so some of you guys already have, you've already been, um, these, okay, for some of my Pisces, I feel like you've already been romantic with this person. Maybe you already have children with this person, family with this person. Maybe you've already been romantic with this person. I feel like you and this person already know each other or you guys have already maybe had some type of, um, maybe you guys already been intimate with one another before, but that's not all of you guys. Okay. But that's what I'm getting strongly here too. This person is like, why do I feel like this is somebody who's reminiscing? You have known each other before. You already met this romantic partner you seek. Like, why do I feel like this is somebody that you've already had? You got history with this person. For some of you guys, you have history with this person or you already have history with this person or this could be like a past life connection, a past life connection. And it feels like this person feels like they already know you. Like, it's like, man, it's so strong. You feel so familiar to them. You may remind them of someone or something or you just seem so familiar to them. Hmm. For some of you guys, if you already know this person, this person feels like the past history that you guys have with one another may be a, a factor. It may be an issue on why it's really hard to maybe make this happen or get close to you in this way. I feel like you and this person have a past and this person feels like that's an issue or there was issues in the past with this person. Um, there could have been issues here, maybe surrounding a child or children, but they feel like, you know, it, there's been issues here with you and this person in the past. And they feel like that's a big hindrance. They also may be worried that it's about something about repeating the past. They may be worried about repeating something in their past with you, you know, repeating history. For some of you guys, this is a past life connection. And this person, um, I feel like there may be a lot of like past trauma, past issues. You may have issues from your past or this person may have, they may, it's like some type, you're still attached to something from your past that may be affecting the situation. Maybe someone's having a hard time let, letting go of the past, letting go of a situation from the past. <laughs> that could be a blockage to this connection. Let's see. Or to this person coming towards you. How's this person feeling about you? Oh, this person wants to see you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Well, you guys, I have to cough. Yeah, this person wants to see you. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This person wants to visit you. This person wants to come take a trip to you. This person wants to be close to you. Some of you guys, you're at a distance from this person. This person is really wanting to see you. And I really feel like this person really wants to um, take a chance here. Um, give your relationship a chance. This person wants to take a chance. They want to take a they want to take a chance, or they may even want to take a risk, is what I'm hearing. This person wants to take a leap of faith. They want to take some type of risk here. For some of you guys, if this person is already married or in some type of situation, third party situation, they really want to take a risk, I'm hearing. This person wants to take a risk here with you. Like this person is willing to risk something or like I'm hearing 
risk. It's like a risk. This person wants to take a risk. They feel like you're worth the risk is what I'm hearing. This person feels like you're worth the risk. You're worth taking this trip or you're worth this risk. Hmm. For some of you guys, if this is not a third party, say if this is someone that you've already had some type of pass with. I feel like this person wants to let go of those issues from the past in order to get back close to you. This is somebody who wants to get back near you. They want to get back close to you. They want to be closer to you again. That's what I'm getting in these cards. Like these people, like, because I kind of feel like you're, you're in this avoidant energy. Like it's almost like avoidant attachment. Like you're avoiding this person. Yeah. And this person is trying to find a way. I'm here trying to find my way back, way back to you baby this person is trying to find their way back to you again <laughs> they're trying to see like this person is like they're they're trying to figure out if you would even be willing to let them come back in or are you even willing to let them get close to you again yeah you guys this person wants to get they they want to get next to you they want to get close to you this person wants to hug you. They just want to hug you. They want to embrace you if if all, that's all they can get. Like this is crazy, y'all. Some whoever this person is, they they're they're trying to get to you. They're trying to get to you. They want to see you. They want to visit you. They want to spend time with you. That's what I'm seeing. This is how this person is feeling about you, pal. Too. Mm. 